good to see you all. It's very sad to see some of you wearing Christmas jumpers. It's too early. It's all far too early. The 24th is the day it starts. And uh, I can see some Christmas jumpers have come out. Uh, so that, that's interesting. Okay, just a few announcements. Just to let you know that the, uh, the, the 30 bags that we're doing for, uh, for Christmas are going really well, but we still want more. So if you're able to, to give donations to us, that would be really, really good. The news mail that you should have received on the Friday, um, you need to really read that one. I don't want to be facetious, but I know a lot of people don't read them. But it's important to read this one because there's at least seven or eight items in there for what we're doing through Advent. Advent. Uh, so we need to do that as well. Um, come along and bring people along at this time of year. It's an ideal opportunity to get people to come along to church. And of course, we've got carols on the central green on the 14th. So that would be really good as well. So please come along to that. Now, it's not so warm in here. Um, I'm sorry about that. We'll see what we can do. But if you need some help, you need to see Andrea at the back there because uh, <laughs> she's going to kill me. Uh, she will go through what number of layers you need. Currently, it's five. Uh, she's wearing five layers and she is prepared to do a fashion parade later on. I'll be gone when that happens, but she's going to do a fashion parade <laughs> uh, to show you how important different layers are. Okay, so if you need advice, Andrea is there. Otherwise known as Andrea the Onion, because she's got so many layers. But uh, there you go. But we'll see what we can do about the heating. But isn't it good to be in God's house? Yeah. Isn't it good to come and praise Him? I'm not going to do the official welcome, because uh, Kathy's doing that, so you know you're welcome. But Kathy will do the official welcome in a few moments. Let's sing a song as we bring our tithes and offerings to the Lord, um, and we'll rejoice and we'll praise the Lord by giving. We're going to start this morning by just hearing the scripture. Let's get our minds set into what God's word says. So, how you come today, whether you come in a good place, a forward place, not such a good place, but let's uh, focus our eyes on what the Lord, focus our ears, beg your pardon, we hear with our ears, maybe, on what the Lord has to say. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk, they will walk and not be faint. Let's stand and see strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Just thank you for the gift of your people this morning. For those who always ask, we've asked you to multiply them. As you did, we will find those and two pushes. So that you would multiply them and use them for your honor. Use them for your glory. In order that your kingdom would be established, we pray. Your name is Amen. Will you take your seats for a few moments, please? And ask Catherine if she'll share with us a testimony this morning. Okay. Right, thank you. Good morning. Um, my oldest granddaughter, Sophia, uh, she's a gymnast, and a few weeks ago she complained of backache. So they took her to the doctor, she got an x ray, um, and a couple of weeks after they heard that from the x ray, they thought that there was a problem with her hip joint and she might need surgery and she might need a pin to be able to keep the hip um, and the femur in place. So my son texted me, obviously very worried, because it, it was quite a scary thing to think about. So I got everybody praying, everybody I could think of, let's just pray for this situation. Um, she's 12 years old. Um, so Tuesday, she went to Brighton Hospital and saw the consultant. They took another x ray and there was nothing wrong. <laughs> um, her, her hip had grown, it was fully grown, and there was going to be no surgery, no anything. And she was, I took her to gym on Friday. So thank you, Lord, for answering that prayer. Amen. Amen. We praise the Lord, don't we? We praise the Lord, and how, what's that word in Hebrew? Hallelujah. What was it going with sharing with us last week? That, that we learned at the conference of conference we, we've all been to. Hallelujah, anyway. And that's hard to do. And the things are tough, hallelujah, anyway. When things are good, hallelujah, anyway. When things look impossible, hallelujah, anyway. Because he is a God who's worthy of all praise. Yes, indeed, the God of miracles. There is nothing he can So this morning, we are pleased to welcome Hugo von Lorenz of Pioneers Arab World Media and his wife Jackie. Welcome. As a church, we are indeed proud and privileged to partner with the organization as part of our mission outreaches. We thank the Lord for the mission workers who have been sharing the gospel in the Arab world 
the legacy continues as new workers are being sent to the mission field. So we are looking forward to hearing what Hugo will share with us this morning. For those of us who will be wondering if God is changing life in the Middle East and in, in the Arab world today, the answer is a resounding yes. After all, it is the business of the Lord Jesus Christ to build his church. Reading through the uh, pamphlets, something struck me. One of the believers' prayer for the Arabian Peninsula has moved me because this is something we can all be involved in. May God move in, rest, in response to a movement of prayer to stir the hearts of unbelievers to search online and realize their emptiness despite their material wealth. On the table over there, you will find some beautiful little Christmas tree uh, pendants or earrings uh, uh, um, made by the people of Jordan from the olive uh, tree. And please help yourself and put a donation as you see fit. Also, because of the sensitivity of the, uh, what you will share with us, uh, his message will not be recorded. So let us pray. O oh God our Father, how true and so very relevant is that prayer. For if it is valid for the Middle East, how much more valid it is for our European world and our very own country today. We thank you, dear Lord Jesus, that you are indeed building your church and that the Holy Spirit is working tirelessly in the lives of our brothers and sisters in the faith in the Arab world, and for whom being believers often puts them in terrible danger. We thank you for the small groups of believers who meet together for prayer and to study your word. May they continue to work closely with you, dear Lord that day by day your mercy would be enough for them, that you would give them just a glimpse of what you are doing to keep them motivated and focused, and that they would struggle. We pray for the area leaders that you would grant them wisdom on how to facilitate their team and how to encourage them. And for Hugo and the team here in the UK, that you would ground them resilience and the strength to continue the good work that you have set before them. For the glory of your name, we pray, Lord Jesus. Amen. I'm just thinking as Kathy was praying that you know, we want to be trying out this this morning because we're in a good place here in the UK. Difficult but good. But we can raise our hand in the way anyway for those who aren't in a good place. Because what did Paul do when he was in prison? He sang. And I'm sure that there are lots of people who want to sing this morning. So we're going to raise our hallelujah this morning. And let's keep in our hearts and our minds all those people that think that it's not so easy as it is for us. And let's sing our hallelujah to join with the quieter maybe hallelujah this morning. Because he's worthy of praise and whatever's happening.
of last night, who will be singing their praise with new instruments? Are you, worthy? Are you going to give your worship to God this morning? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, just, I just pray that nobody's just come out of rote and you're just sitting there, just singing words that you've sung every week. That would break my heart. God needs to move amongst us. Is that amen? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We want to hear what God has to say because He deserves everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're His creation, and we were created to worship Him. So this morning, let us just worship Him with abandon, with that wholeheartedness. We're creation, and we're going to join creation this morning. And the next song we're going to sing, Ancient of Days, talks about every tongue in heaven. And just as Jane said, there are people all over the world praising our God this morning. So let's just join them and worship him as he deserves. Thank <laughs> you. 
everyone needs compassion, love that never fails. And as we sing this song again, if you don't just want to sing it, if you need compassion this morning, then ask God for the compassion. If you need kindness, if you need forgiveness, let's make this song a reality. Let's sing it to God and ask Him to give us what we need, because He is gracious. He is your Father, and He just loves to give us gifts.
is found in all these places. Now, I'm going to you, you listen to the news, and you get this person's opinion, that person's opinion, somebody else with their own agenda is up to you. It's great to have you go with us this morning. Have someone that knows exactly what's happening on the ground to be able to open that door for us so we can go in and we can pray. We've been given much to pray for. We've been given much to exercise faith for. And we just pray that God will do one of the months. Come and have a cup of tea, have a coffee together. Try to get the circulation running in your in your feet. Uh, to make certain that you get a little warm, as I said earlier on, I'm really sorry it's not uh, not as warm as we would like it to be and try to get some in the next week for lunch. So come and, and really rejoice with us. Just gonna quickly pray, Lord, we just ask you for that you will be with us over this coming week. Lord, as we remember what we have said today, we will put that into effect. Lord, we will you guys are an act of you, believing that you will answer and you will be you. Lord, just be with us as we go to our separate time. Rest your body and keep it. You name certain people. Amen.